Following the kick-off, Jabote should have taken the lead after this neat build-up between Willis Plaza and Marvin Oliver, but Plaza's effort was too high. Public responded with Hayden Tinto being rather fortunate after the missed clearance, but Tinto failed to get past goalkeeper Cleon John as the scores remain locked at 0-0 at the end of the first half. In the second half, just as the game appeared to be drifting along, Gerald Brito broke the deadlock in the 91st minute, 1-0 Jabote in front. Some three minutes later, Jevon Morris brought down Jason Mokano and a penalty was awarded. Mokano picked himself up and put the strike past Marvin Phillip to give Jabote a 2-0 lead. Public suffered another setback as defender Jamal Jack was shown a red card for his heavy tackle on Andre Toussaint. And that's how the scoreline stood at the end of regulation time. Jabote 2 drew Public nil. In the other matchup on the night, Caledonia took the lead through Conrad Smith in the 47 minutes of the exchanges and held on to that one goal advantage at the end of the half. Second half action and Stillin O'Brien got a late equaliser for Defence Force Super League team in the 90th minute from this free kick. But in extra time in the 111th minute to be exact, Ishmael Daniel scored a pool like shot to give Cali the second goal. That turned out to be the winner. Caledonia EIA going on to win the encounter by two goals to one. Reporting for CNC3 Sports, I'm Astel Wren.